shit out of me. So do you want to know what happened with me and Jerry today? So do you really think Jerry's cheating on me? Because, you know, I called his phone the other day and he didn't answer. Now listen, me and Jerry have been going through some times. What's wrong with you? <laughs> There's this man at coming to the supermarket. As Terry explained her dilemma to her obnoxious so-called best friend, the girls continued to drown themselves in flavored vodkas. because I keep pointing him towards the chicken breast. And I freaking tell him every time where the freaking chicken breasts are. And he keeps showing up at 2 o'clock on the dot every day. I know where the chicken breasts are, and I show him where the chicken breasts are, and he doesn't understand. He doesn't get it. And I don't get it. I don't understand why he doesn't get it. Chicken breasts? Maybe the man just happens to like chicken. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe he just likes to cook chicken at 2 o'clock every day. I'm sorry, you're just being paranoid. <coughs> or crazy, one of them. Chicken rest. <sighs> maybe, maybe I am just being paranoid. Uh, yeah. You're being very paranoid. Maybe he's just retarded. All men are retarded. Look at Jerry. I'm so glad you're my friend. <laughs> All right. Ugh, it's time to go. Yeah, it's about that time. I'm gonna see you later, all right? But wait, before you go, I got a little something for you. Take that one for the road. <laughs> okay, bye. Later, girl, bye. Terry had been best friends with Traffy since they was five years old, living in the Lafayette Gardens housing community. Therefore, she never questioned if Traffy's advice and reasoning was rational. Must be deaf, but are you mute now too? Say something! 